In this video, we're going to create a HTML form that stores data into MySQL database using PHP code. PHP is a server-side scripting language. It allows you to store data into database at server level. Create a form with the following field like name, email, website, comment, and gender. And these fields data are stored in our database table. And here we are using the same PHP file that we have used in the previous program and update this code snippet in that file. And this block of code inserts your form data into MySQL database table using PHP script. I have created a database called IPLab9 and table register, which consists of five fields namely name, email, website, comments, and gender. The main method used in this script is MySQL iConnect. This is an internal PHP function to establish a new connection to MySQL server. At beginning of our code, we see some variable declarations and value assigned to those variables. Usually we need four of them to establish a proper database connection like server name, database, username and password. And here we set our database details as a value for those variables so that they can be passed into the function. The MySQL iConnect function opens a new connection to the MySQL server. What we have mentioned here is object oriented style syntax. In this line of code, we'll check for the connection. If connection is not successful, the die function is executed. This basically kills our script and gives us a connection error message that we have to set. By default, MySQL connect error will say connection failed followed by an exact error message describing the issue. The insert into statement is used to add new records to MySQL table. And this line of code will perform the query. The query function takes a valid SQL string and executes it directly against the database connection. If insert activity is successful, then it will return this message. If not, it will display an error. And finally, to close the connection in MySQL database, we use this PHP function. Go to NetBeans, create a new project, click PHP, PHP application, click Next, 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 and Finish. Now copy paste the code for index.php. Now save the file. Open XAM control panel and start Apache and MySQL servers. To access PHP MyAdmin from XAM, you need to make sure Apache and MySQL is running in XAM control panel by clicking the start button in the action button. column. Now click the admin button in the MySQL row that will launch PHP MyAdmin. You can also access PHP MyAdmin by typing this URL into your browser. Now create a database and name the database as IPLab9. Then you are asked to create a table by clicking the create button. Now create a table and name it as register and enter the total number of fields and hit the go button. Now add columns for the table. Now save the table and you can see the newly created table is empty now. Now run the PHP file in the browser and here comes the registration form. Fill the required fields. After entering the form details, hit the submit button and you will see a confirming message that your data is submitted to MySQL database. Now go to PHP My Admin interface and the data that we have entered in the PHP form is stored in this database.